Question number seven, Barbara Kerriga. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Social Development and asks what reports has she received on the number of teen mothers receiving a benefit? Honourable Ann Tully. Mr Speaker, the number of young mothers aged 16 to 19 requiring a benefit has almost halved since 2009. This means better lives for these families and fewer long-term beneficiaries. There were 48 per cent fewer teen mums on main benefits at the end of 2014 compared to 2009. Teen parents spend an average of 19 years on a benefit and have some of the highest lifetime costs of any group on welfare, let alone the social costs. So these statistics show that they are taking full advantage of the support and the opportunities provided by this government, which is great news for these young families and for taxpayers. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Barbara Kurtiger. To the Minister, what else is the government doing to support teen parents? Honourable Ann Tolly. Our major investment in youth services is enabling these young people to take part in education and training to give them the tools that they need to get into employment. It's helping young people on benefit manage their money better, and we do want to extend that to 18 and 19 year olds. Childcare assistance is also helping teen parents access education and attend parenting courses. We put $6.2 million into supported housing for teen parents, and this means support by trained staff for teen parents and their children 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We all want to see these young mums and dads become successful, independent people with children who are thriving. Supplementary question, Derek Ball. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister. With one of the pathways out of benefit dependency being education, how is she planning to address the fact that, according to the Association of Teen Parent Educators of New Zealand, 87 per cent of teenage mothers and virtually all teenage fathers are missing out on education, especially in Northland, where teen pregnancy is on the increase. Speaker, I'm not sure where those stats come from because they are not, um, uh, are not, are not what we're seeing. In fact, we're seeing the numbers, and this government's put an enormous amount of money into supporting teen parents through teen parent units, which have, the numbers of which have doubled throughout the country, and the huge work that's going in putting support around them and getting them into education. So I would contest those figures. Question number eight, Phil Twyford. 